What is up, YouTube? Let's hit this Puddles A1 here, and I am bringing you two narrated Wi-Fi battles. Now, if you guys didn't notice what I said subtly under my breath as I was doing my intro, I said two narrated Wi-Fi battles, and as the title can probably hint to you, this is a doubleheader against Mystical. Um, I looked at his team when we were battling this battle, and he was like, dude, or I was like, dude, if you wanted to play PU, we could have totally played PU. So that's what the next battle is. Uh, so this one's NU. We got PU coming up next, so... Here we go. Mystical's going to be leading off with the Furret as I decide to lead off with my Perugly. Now, seeing the Furret, I was like, okay, so this thing is probably Scarfed or Banded because I know I have a Banded Furret. And then he sees my Choice Scarf, or he sees my Choice Band, goes for a U-turn, hinting to me, not hinting, telling me he's Choice Scarfed. And then I go for a U-turn of my own as he brings in the Seedra. And now I actually get the Switch Initiative because I can go into my Roselia, threaten this thing out, and set up a layer of Spikes and go from there. So that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to threaten that bad boy out, go for a layer of Spikes as I know he's going to switch out. He brings brings in this furret, and now I'm like, great. Something's going to end up with a Choice Scarf, and I decide that I'm actually just going to leave in my Roselia to take the Choice Scarf, because none of my Pokemon really wanted to lose their item except for Roselia. I'm not really going to need a special defender in this battle, per se. I really just need my Seedra. So I decide to stay and go for a Sludge Bomb, uh, predicting the trick to happen. And luckily for me, I live on 43 HP um, after the... Um, double edge from a furret which did way too much damage so he goes out into his lunatone now i decide to go for another sludge bomb because why not i am choice scarfed and i am locked into this bad boy as he goes to the rock polish i'm thinking great now i'm gonna get swept by a lunatone so i'm just gonna actually stay in here and go for another um sludge bomb because i really have no reason to switch out or anything so he actually goes for the baton pass out into his nidorino and seeing nidorino from the team preview i was like okay it's probably the life orb uh home claw set with sucker punch poison jab and then like coverage move so uh he goes for the home claws here which he admits is probably not the best move. I was wondering why he did that myself, because a Sucker Punch would have easily taken me out. A Poison Jab would have taken me out. He was at plus two speed anyway. But now, um, because of the two Sludge Bomb hits I got off on him, he will be able to die to two Life Orb Recoils. And now I can bring in my Seedra, take the plus one stab, hustle boosted Poison Jab from a Nidorino, and then be able to go for the rest. The Poison really doesn't even matter because I do have rest. I'm going to go all the way back up to full HP, and now I am doing really good right now. He's going to go into his Artillery. I decided to switch out into my Arbok on the off chance that he has the Hidden Power Electric, um, but I was really hoping he had Hidden Power Grass and I would like um, resist that, but he does actually have the Hidden Power Electric, and then I'm just going to go for the Gunk Shot on this turn because I was like, hey, I can outspeed. I might as well go for Gunk Shot instead of the 100% hitting Sucker Punch, and then he takes me out with a Surf after I miss my Gunk Shot because I convinced myself, you know what, it's better to go for Gunk Shot. I really should have just went for the Sucker Punch, but anyway, I know he's going to want to switch out here because I'm pretty sure I can take whatever hit he wants to go for instead of a Calm Mind in his face. And that's exactly what happens. I'm at plus one defense, plus one special defense, plus one special attack. And he's going to go for a Sludge Bomb with this um, Vile Plume here as I decide to go for a Psychic. And it doesn't take it out to my surprise. Um, but that's probably because I'm max HP, max defense. And I only have four HP or four special attack investment, I think, uh, EVs and whatnot. So I decided to go for another Psychic because why not? Um, and he brings in this Lunatone. Lunatone doesn't take that as well as I thought it would. And then after Poison, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a uh, two-hit KO. So I decided to go for another um, Psychic as he predicts me to go for the Calm Mind and he goes out into a Seedra. But unfortunately for him, I just straight up go for Psychic and take this thing out with a critical hit, I believe, which is really unfortunate because I'm pretty sure that Seedra could have been able to live that Psychic. So um, actually here he's going to just run because because he realizes that he can't beat my Musharna. So that's the end of the game one. And then soon we're going to start with the PU battle. Um, this is The PU team isn't part of the uh, the thing that I do Farewell Friday. This is just a fun thing. I decided to upload both of them because why not? So here's my team. His team didn't change the lineup exactly the same. My team, I got all of them except for the Ivysaur from Watchtone. His link will be in the description. So here we go. My opponent's going to be leading off with the Furret. My opponent, Mystical, is going to be leading off with the Furret. So I decide to lead off with my own Furret, and my Furret's actually Choice Banded, where his is Choice Scarfed. So uh, he goes for the U-Turn. U-Turn does a lot of damage, but as you see, a Choice Banded U-Turn from a Furret on a uh, Lunatone with a super effective hit, look how much that does. That is not something to play with. Choice Banded and Choice Scarfed Furret. Everybody, use that. And NU, it's fun. Just try it out, even PU. PU's fun as well. So uh, I U-Turn out into my... um. Clang, knowing he's going to want to switch out to not take a gear grind, I can just go for a substitute. And then I go for a return, and it does one damage to the Seedra. And I'm thinking, okay, well, now is a good time to switch out because I'm obviously not going to do anything to this guy. So I go out into Nigel, uh, my physically defensive Pelipper, and then I double switch out because I don't want to take a trick choice scarf. And so I go out into my um, 
my, what's this thing called? My Lux Ray because I'm actually Choice Scarf. I decided to go for a superpower right here as uh, I actually get a critical hit on this Vile Plume. Does not do too much. It barely breaks half, um, but that's to be expected from a uh, Jolly uninvested, un well, not uninvested, but unstab. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, go out in my Ivysaur here to take the Sludge Bomb. That's exactly what happens. He goes for Sludge Bomb, and on this turn, I believe I go for a Sludge Bomb of my own. I lied. I go for Sleep Powder as he brings in this Lunatone, so I'm thinking, all right, cool. Now this thing can't uh, baton pass into anything, and he goes on to the third here as I go for the Sludge Bomb. It's not going to do too much. It's not going to do as much as Excuse me, I don't know what that was. <laughs> it's not going to do as much as Roselia's did, but I do get the poison, which is really nice. I decide to switch out and go into my clang here, um, and then I take the U-turn like it's my job, and then he switches out and goes out into his Octillery, and from here I'm like, I can pretty much take whatever and uh, go for a shift gear. And after a shift gear, my return should be doing a lot more because that was a physically defensive Slowbro, or Seedra. Um, but now, nope, turns out that my Clang actually hates me even though I oil it every day. So that's pretty much stupid and he takes me out with a Fire Blast. So now I go out into my Furret and I go for the Choice Banded U-Turn again as he brings in the Lunatone as Sleep Fodder. And it's really cute because when it's asleep, its eyes are closed. And it, it's just, it's a cute concept uh, that the eyes close. And it's really cute to see on Lunatone because it's like, oh, it's going to sleep. It's nighttime because it's a moon. But anyway... Uh, I you turn out into my Ivysaur. He brings in this Nidorino. I know that his um, Lunatone has been destroyed, so I can go for the Sleep Powder on that bad boy, as I do just that. And then I go for the Synthesis, as he brings in this Vile Plume, and I'm thinking, okay, I don't know what this thing's going to do to me, because um, I already know it doesn't have Sleep Powder. So I go for the Sludge Bomb, doesn't do too much, and then he goes for Aromatherapy. So I'm thinking, great, now i got to deal with this thing. And so I decide to actually go for Sleep Powder to put it to sleep, so I don't really have to deal with it too much anymore. And uh, unfortunately for me, um, I, or unfortunately for him, I haven't missed the Sleep Powder, which is like, that's, I don't even know how that happened. But I see a really nice time to bring in my Clam Pearl and set up a Shell Smash until I realize I can't do that on his team. And then he takes me out with a Poison Jab. If I was a Violite, then maybe I could have done that. But nope, not a Violite. Um, I decide to go out into my... Um, Lux right here to get the Intimidate off, and then I can switch out to my Ivysaur, because now he's at minus one, I know he's going to go for the Sucker Punch, and now I can go for a Sludge Bomb, um, hopefully do a lot as much as my Rose Ray did, hopefully, but that's not the case, um, what I should have done is actually gone for like, um, the Synthesis or something, but I decided to switch out here, go into Nigel, my physically defensive Pelipper, and go for a Scald, hoping to get the burn, but he goes for the plus one uh, Hustle Boosted Stab Poison Jab, and it takes me out with a critical hit, I'm not sure how much the crit mattered, but it's unfortunate. It doesn't really bother me. But I go on to my Lux right here. I thought maybe I could live a Sucker Punch. But then I was like, there's no way. There's no way because it's Hustle Boosted. It's plus one. Or actually, it's neutral, I think, now. But he goes for the Poison Jab on my Ivysaur as I bring it in. I decide to go over the Synthesis. And now I should have known that he was going to go for the Home Claws because I just revealed Synthesis. And my obvious plan is to stall him out um, by Life Orb. So what I should have done here was go on for the Sludge Bomb. And that would have been more than enough to take it out. And then I would have been sitting in a very, very good position because now he can't really do much. But my Sludge Bomb can definitely take him out. I'm only at 78 HP. I have no means to go for the um, the recovery move, whatever it's called, synthesis, but he can go for the double edge and take me out, and then he's almost going to die in the process. I decide to go out into my choice banded furret, and now we got some more hot furret on furret action as he decides to go for the uh, double edge. He does not manage to take me out, but uh, I manage to live, and then I get to get off a huge huge hit with that choice banded stab double edge that's like 40 percent of that seed run that's probably max hp max defense but anyway thank you guys for watching i have been talking for eight and a half minutes and you guys have just been sitting there listening to it thank you guys for watching again um if you guys click from the furret all the way to the oh my goodness i don't remember what it was for the furret all the way to the hold on furret all the way, whatever, for it all the way to the last Pokemon, it'll take you directly to Mizzigal's channel. If you guys click whatever my last Pokemon is, it'll take you to my last channel. I mean, it'll take you to my last video, um, and then if you click the next Pokemon, I don't even know what's happening. If you, okay, I'm ruining my outro. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start over. You guys are just going to listen. If you guys go ahead and click from the Furred all the way to the Lunatone, it'll take you to Mystical's channel. If you guys go ahead and click the whatever my last Pokemon is, it'll take you to my last video. If you click the Furred, it'll take you to my next video when I upload it. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, add me on Skype. Puddles A1 is the name throughout all that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, love, and later, Gators. I did it.